Joe on back with part two. All right. If any man defile the temple of God, all right, and that's the title I'm going with. Now, we're going to get to that. We're going to look up this word here in the blue letter. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. All right? So you know what the temple is, right? It's been explained to you. I've given you precepts. All right? What did, uh, what did the Lord do? He created man from the ground, right? As we read in Genesis, Genesis 2 and 7. And then the Lord breathed into the nostrils of Adam. What did he breathe? The spirit of life. Thus, man became a what? A living soul. You understand that, people? Got that? All right. And you know who it belongs to. So that's the temple of the Lord. So no one is supposed to mess with that temple. And if they do, what does the Lord say here? Him shall the Most High destroy. All right? Okay? For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. Now, again, you people don't get it mixed up now. All right? You should understand you're the temple. You're the church. And I'm talking to Israelites. Not talking, we're not talking about any other nation here. We're talking about the nation of Israel, both the southern and the northern kingdom. You understand that? The two sticks being brought back together into one stick in the hand of the Lord. You understand that? Made up of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, and we have brothers and sisters that were scattered into all nations. So guess what? We got Israelites that are going to look like those nations. Do you understand that? Israelite foreigners, okay? Strangers, you understand? They're going to look like those nations. So we're going to have Israelites that look like Edomites. We're going to have Israelites, you know, that look like Germans, the French, uh, look like, uh, you know, uh, Filipinos, uh, you know, uh, Arabs, okay, uh, you name it, okay, do you understand Chinese, Japanese, do you get it? Because we were scattered into all nations, and it's not the outer appearance that makes you an Israelite, it is the seed of Israel, okay, the Israelite man got together with, it, with the, a heathen woman, and they had children, what well, does that make their children? Israelites. You understand? All right? And that all goes back to Numbers 118. All right? It is the father, all right, that is the pedigree that creates the nationality and race of that child. Okay? Women have no seed. So don't even come with that. All right. So, uh, Let's get into this word here, defile, first off, right? Let's get into that. If any man defile Oh, they seem to have left it out of here. Alright. Let's see here. Let's see here. Give me a minute. All right. This is the uh, definition of the fall. All right. To make Levitically unclean Render unhallow, defile, profane. You know what profane means? Ungodly, outside the temple, like Esau is. All right? Like when you read the Hebrews, 
12 and 16 and 17, and we'll tell you there that Esau is a fornicator, all right, and that he is profane, okay, meaning ungodly outside the temple. And that's what these uh, people are doing to you, all right, if you've given them your consent, all right, based on their propaganda of fear, you know, being used by the media, right, their television sets, you understand? This is, uh, it's witchcraft, it's sorcery, you understand that? Okay, and when you look up that word sorcery, it gets into the word pharmakia. That should tell you plenty, people. All right? That's who you're dealing with. All right? All right. Um, okay. Let's see what else here. Any profane, unclean, all right? All right, we're also going to look it up in the, uh, going to look it up in uh, Google, all right? So give me a minute. All right, this is uh, Google, defile, King James Version definition. When you defile something, you make it dirty or make it lose its purity. You see that? Do you people understand? Are you people getting the point? You know, about that serpent juice? All right? If you were to burn a copy of the Bible or spray paint the walls of a church, it could be said that you've defiled the holy book or place. See that? That's pretty much what they're doing to your body because you are the church. You are the temple. Okay? You are the congregation. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? You understand that? All right? Let's look up uh, the regular definition of it. Let's see here. Let's see what that says. Sully, mar, spoil, spoil, impaired, all right, debased, degrade, polluted, poisoned, corrupt, tainted, tarnished, infected, foul, dirty, stained, ruined, destroyed. See that? And that's why the Lord, all right, he has warned you not to. Give your consent to sinners, all right? You were not to, uh, supposed to take the uh, the serpent's potion, all right? That serpent piss, all right? And you're certainly not to take the karagma, all right? You're certainly not to do that. You're not to be tagged, okay, like cattle. You understand? Because you know what's going to happen to you, all right? Because he warns you. He tells you, okay? Revelations 14 and 10. All right, so you read Revelation 13, chapter, verse 16 to 18. It talks about that, okay? But now you go to Revelation 14 and 10, and it'll tell you what's going to happen to you, okay? You know, to those of you that have done so and will continue to do so, all right? You're going to receive the indignation of the Most High. That means righteous anger. Okay, that's going to be poured out without mixture, okay, in receiving that fire and brimstone, which is that thermonuclear fire from the ICBMs, plus you'll have that concentrated laser fire from the chariots, okay, and this will happen in front of the angels and the lamb, Yahweh Shai. Go read it. This isn't a game, people. It's not a joke, all right? All right, let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? All right. All right. So we know what defile means. All right. Now, 
for example, all right, why, oh, let me, let me show you again, it, you people are the temple, all right, uh, let me show you that, let's see, here. let's go to uh, an example, let's go to Thessalonians here, all right, Second uh, Thessalonians 2, all right, all right, now you see what it says here? Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. That is worship. Okay? And Revelation chapter 13 speaks about him being worshipped. Right? And that one has to worship the image. Right? Has to worship the beast, its image. Right? And, you know, the MOTB. Right? The Karagma. You understand that? And what, what what is all that? That's idolatry, people. You're not supposed to. That's how the Israelites fell in the first place. Worshipping false idols of worship of the heathens. All right? What does it say in the first uh, commandment? Thou shalt have no other God before me. All right? But you all got a problem, okay, uh, repenting. You know, getting on your knees and, you know, asking the Lord for forgiveness, you know, for what we have done in the past. All right? Because a lot of you are too proud. All right? All right. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the most high or that is worship, like I said, that's all over the scriptures. All right? So that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High. See that? And again, what backs that up very simply, let me first continue reading, showing himself that he is the Most High. Uh, what is that? Isaiah 14. All right. Uh, Old Testament, Isaiah. Isaiah 14. All right. Right around here, all right? Let's see here. Let's see. All right. All right. For thou hast said in thy heart that I will ascend into heaven and I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High and I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. See that? The church, the temple, you Israelite. You understand that? In the side to the North, North America. Got it, people? We're going to end this here. We'll be right back with part three. Show up.